Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we'll be taking a look at tables and how we use them in Microsoft OneNote. Tables are a great way to help organize the information in your OneNote pages. A table in OneNote is essentially a container for information. It consists of a series of intersecting vertical columns and horizontal rows, creating cells where information is stored. Some functions in OneNote automatically insert a table for you. For example, if we insert a meeting from Outlook, as we learned how to do in the last chapter, OneNote creates a table in the note to store the information, such as the subject and date and time. To create a new table, first click where you want the table inserted on a page, then select the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then select the Table button in the Tables group towards the left end of the ribbon, give that a click. And from here, you can simply roll your mouse over the squares in the dropdown to create a table with the desired number of columns and rows by clicking when the table is the size that you wish. And you'll see that as I expand out or move back in, it's very easy to create that initial table size. Now, keep in mind that creating a table in this way limits you to an initial table size of 10 columns by 8 rows. However, you can always add or delete columns and rows later on. Now you could also select the Insert Table command here at the bottom of the dropdown to launch the Insert Table dialog box. Here you can manually enter the desired number of columns and rows and then click OK to create the table according to your specifications. And our table will be created. Now once the table is created, OneNote will place your cursor in the first cell in the table where you can start typing your content. And we'll replicate what we have in the table just above. Now you'll notice that as you type, if the information that you type exceeds the width of the column, OneNote will automatically adjust the width for you. At this point then, you can click the Tab key on your keyboard to jump to the next cell working left to right, or Shift-Tab to go backwards. Now if you reach the last cell in a table, we'll go ahead and click into that last cell right here, and then click the Tab key, OneNote will automatically add an additional row to the bottom of the table. When you have a table selected in OneNote, the ribbon automatically displays the Table Tools Layout tab. You'll see that right up here now, which contains various groups of commands that we can use to format our tables and the data. We'll be taking a look at that functionality in the next couple of lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.